Hi, Aaron. How are you doing today? I'm very well. Very well, thank you. How are you, sir? Blessed to have the opportunity to talk with you again because I, I knew the very first season that Billy the Kid was going to be that one thing that people were going to embrace and just crave during that moment to get to season two, part two. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. That's always the hope when you make something is that they they crave more. Um, and I know I left season two, part one, as someone who also is a fan of Westerns wanting to see what happened. Um, and I think season two, part two, which is coming out on June 2nd, will not disappoint. It's full of heart and soul. Um, and it is like the stakes are raised even higher than where we left them. I think one of the greatest things about Billy the Kid is the fact that you guys are authentic with that set. It's not something that's sitting inside of a building. I mean, you guys are really getting down and dirty in that in, in those scenes. Yeah, I mean, there's not a single, uh, there's not a single green screen. There's not a single uh, studio. We we don't shoot this show on a studio a lot. It is shot in in the forest, in the woods, on these pre-built Western towns sets uh, that have been there. Some of them for like thirty or forty years that were used for like Lonesome Dove and these amazing old shows and movies. Um, and we now get to use them, and we build new towns and it is such a like massive operation to get this show off the ground um and it's all practical effects it's all stuff that happens in real life like if you see us riding horses we are actually riding those horses if you see us shooting guns we're actually shooting them um everything is real and i think it, it comes across on screen and feels very vivid and alive Oh, God, you're not, you're not going to believe it. I, I grew up on a ranch in Ranchester, Wyoming. So when I am when I see people riding horses, you better believe that I'm watching to find out if you're riding that horse because there are, there are certain things that the body does when you're on that monkey. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm glad you say that because it's people like you that I that I do that for because I when I watch things, I, I can tell if it's authentically done or not. And I want to do justice to people like you who, who grew up in that culture, in that world. Um, and so I, for me, it's so important to to throw myself in and put my body on the line and like, you know, walk the walk. Um, and I have, you know, I'm lucky to have some amazing trainers and stunt people around me who, who have taught me the ropes. And, uh, and honestly, it's just something that I now love to do. Would you say that there's a split personality change when it comes to William H and Billy the Kid? Because it, it's like, I mean, I love the way that it's like, there's two different people there and, and you embrace both of them. Yeah, and I think I'm, I'm glad you touched on that because uh, it's yeah, not everyone I think can articulate it like that, but it's definitely something that I think Michael Hurst, our writer and creator, um, is touching on is this this idea of like the duality of of a person. Billy or William H. Bonney wants to be a peaceful person. He wants yeah. to be he wants to be someone who settles down and runs a ranch and, and lives a peaceful life. And then his alter ego, Billy the Kid, which is something he didn't choose, but something that people people thrust upon him. Um, that version of him is adventurous and hot-headed and quick to reach for the gun and quick to react and, uh, and doesn't want to be belittled by the man. Um, and so those two parts of him are kind of at war. Um, as much as he's at war in the Lincoln County with like Jesse's gang in the house, he's also got this war going on inside him, which is like, who does he want to be? What kind yeah. of man does he want to be? And I think a lot of people can relate to that. I would love to be on the set just to watch how, how this story plays out in the way that, you know, you've got John Turnstall who's on a mission and it involves Murphy's store. There's so much drama there. It's like daytime soap operas, but yet you guys keep it into this, this modern day Western vibe that is like, oh my God, I get into this action. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so much drama, um, which and you need the action to cut through the drama because because uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like adrenaline fueled horse races and chases and and gunfights and uh, and you need the drama to ground it and make it you know bring in some heart and soul. Um, and I think Michael writes both so well, um, and you know it it is such an actor's dream to get to to do great character work and great relationship work on screen with actors like Linus Roach, who played John Tunstall, um, and also then get to jump on a horse and chase Jesse Evans through the woods <laughs> on horseback. Like it's just like, it's everything you want as an actor. Wow. So then, you know, one of the things that I've, I've learned about recently, even when it comes to riding those horses, you still have to have an int intimacy coordinator there. How do you play these out and how do you work out those scenes? Because you're, you're doing the real deal on those horses, dude. 
Sorry, do you, an intimacy coordinator for the horses? For, for, well, the horses, for the Just, fight scenes, for everything that's going on. I mean, for that oh, action scene. I mean, it's got to yeah, be played yeah. out and planned out. Yeah, yeah. We uh, hopefully don't have an intimacy coordinator for the horses for the horse scenes. That would be tricky. Uh, but we have fight coordinators and yeah. stunt coordinators for that, and intimacy coordinators are for the for the more like intimate romantic stuff. Um, but yeah, we do. We have like we have great professionals who are who are experts in their field and. Um, we really couldn't do it without them. Um, Brent Woolsey is our, is our stunt coordinator who is a legend and has worked with everyone from Kevin Costner to Leo DiCaprio on The Revenant. You know, he's done everything. Um, and he is our guy. And the guy was almost about to retire, but he loves this show so much that he that he stuck with it and came back. Um, and we keep getting him back. Knock on wood, we'll continue to get him back. Um, but it's a testament to him that all these stunt sequences are so big and epic and uh, and vivid because he he allows us to do them all ourselves and gives us a lot of guidance. So because you know it's dangerous, we do dangerous yeah. stuff on this set, um, and we have to be in good hands, and, and we are. What are you learning? Because I mean, you you've got this you know right here in your career, you've got this gigantic ball, but it's also got to be a teaching tool as well. Yeah, do you mean the show specifically? In the way that, I mean, I, I could see you as a writer. I could see you as a director. I could see you taking this project and make it into an authentic movie up on that big screen. There's, there's just so, to me, you're like the, the budding stages of Johnny Depp on 21 Jump Street. And look what happened to him. That is a, a high compliment. Thank you, Eero. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, Johnny Depp is, is definitely an, an acting uh, legend. And I I like to transform. Uh, you know, I want to do stuff that challenges me as an actor and is, is transformative. And I'm always looking for how I can emotionally and physically transform into something that is not me, Tom. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking for, for parts that are challenging and, and that are something that I've never touched before. Um, but I do want to direct and I do want to write, um, and, and do, do both in my spare time. So, um, when the right thing comes along, I definitely am interested in that. Um, but I mean, acting keeps me so busy that it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's certainly not, uh, not stuck for things to fill my spare time with right now. So, uh, yeah, I hope at some point I get to put my fingers in in those pies absolutely well congratulations on billy the kids season two part two i can't wait to talk with you again when you get more experience for season three and then four thank you so much i hope so well yeah. you be brilliant today okay sir thank you so much you too